Please don't take this person out. Would you politely go to hell? So you, wait, you know what would be really awesome if you just if you just hired paparazzi just to cover you God, at all times, to just cover your jaw. <laughs> I wish I had money to do that because I would do it for a day. If you if you had if you had th- th- those are the kind of things. Don't you ever just sit around and go, okay, if funds were unlimited, this is the kind of shit that I would do. Yes, you just know the fuck with the, the fro. Oh, sorry to interrupt you. No, no, I didn't have anything. The good. first thing I would do <laughs> is buy a car. Just so that I could ram into people that drive like assholes. Like, I always want to do that. When someone's going really slow, you just want to bump them. Like, go faster. Boom. And hit them. And then, and then, <laughs> and then just throw it. You just throw the just car out and just throw a pile of yeah. <laughs> cash in their face. No, no. And then, just, just give them the keys and walk off. Oh, I like, well, yeah. you, you said it like you just leave the car next to the trash bins on Friday. Well, yeah. And, or whatever. It doesn't matter what you do with it. Why don't you just look internally and see if you could solve that problem inside me? People are going at their own pace, my brother. You just need to relax, too. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, Where are you going in such a goddamn hurry? I like to hey go. man, this groovy cat's on the, on the right tip. <laughs> this is the guy that has gotten more tickets. Well, you get a lot of parking tickets, but you've also gotten a lot of not stopping at stop sign tickets. And that last stop sign, when I was not eligible for uh, school, so I had to pay the full thing. It's going to affect my insurance. But it's not going to affect it a lot because you're over 35, so you'll be okay. Excuse me. He's 23. <laughs> Um, the listener thinks I'm 29. Ah, uh, The listener thinks I'm younger. I am over 35. I w- you know what? I'll cop to that. Okay. I'll Good. cop to that. Many revelations today. Yes, on... I think you've mentioned your I'm age. older than 35. I'm younger than Doug Benson. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Doug Benson announced on this very podcast how old he is. Do you know how old, he, oh, how old Doug Benson is? I have an idea. I think. Let's play am, I allowed, am I allowed to take a guess? Yeah. Uh, take a guess. I'll tell you if you're hot or cold or high or low. I think Doug's 44. You're low. I think Doug's 45. You're low. I think <laughs> this might be a fun game. Yeah. I think Doug, this reminds me of a uh, fucking uh, last comic. I think I'm funnier than, <laughs> like, yeah. you know, I have to say. I right. think I'm younger than Doug Benson. I think I'm younger than um, 46. Boom. He's 46. I remember seeing um, a, a videotape of him from the late 80s doing stand-up. On and the he, A-list. Doing props. He right. had the big, the big round glasses on. And what did he put on the glasses? Oh. Little suction cup birds, and he said, oh, "Here's that, a scene from the birds." Tick, 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 tick. That that was pre that was pre marijuana, Doug. I think. Yes. Don't you wish those would come back? <laughs> Don't you wish those days would appear just for one hour? He does a nice job with it, though. He does a nice job with the. I think it's hilarious. You know, I keep the temple clean. I don't care for uh, you. You want to numb yourself? <laughs> numb. Do your thing. What are you hiding? To be from? a Jewish reference. What? I you? keep my temple clean. I don't bring any marijuana into my I don't temple. Bring that this is kosher. I keep my temple kosher. Nice. I thought it was a Buddhist temple. What are you hiding from? I'm not hiding from anything. I'm drug free and high on life. That a boy. Because <laughs> you gotta, you created life. Sorry. Yeah. Let's get into this. <laughs> let's do, do it. Uh, do we know if it's a boy or a girl? And of course, I know the answer. I asked this for the at home listener. Yeah, it's a girl. What position was the baby conceived in? That's not a bad <laughs> I always at wonder all. that. Like you never, people <laughs> never think about how the baby was conceived. It could have been a quick backseat sure. screw, or it could have been. Uh, you know, like a sh- like a shower. You could have been sh- making a sandwich, and you just come up behind her, and you're like, "What world do you hey, live in?" Hey, slap the baloney on there. I'm gonna make a baby in you, or I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. How does it? You know, like <laughs> he I'm- doesn't live on a porn set. <laughs> what? <laughs> we, we, I, slap shower, the baloney. Sandwich making. The that was a literal reference, by the way. She was literally She's making actually a bologna making sandwich. real bologna yeah, sandwich. A horrible sandwich. A dual okay. entendre in full effect. I, I, that was a, that was a single I, entendre, which I think is your wife's joke. Single entendre. It is. You're right. Yep. My beautiful wife Danielle, who was also pregnant at one point. <laughs> Sounds true. And I could tell you, missionary. <laughs> nice. Because it was so clinical when it came down to when it's, it's like, actually let's time. Do this. Yeah. It's okay, it's time. We have two days and three minutes. Right. And it's so. Just yank that thermometer out and yeah. let's put in the business. Right. Oh my God. What? They have yes. to take te- body temperatures. A little graphic. Um, I would actually, I, actually, I would just masking tape the uh, thermometer right to my cock, <laughs> so we would get both done at once. <laughs> you weren't worried about the mercury leaking into your urethra and glass con- breaking. Didn't concern me. That's fantastic. It's not mine. They should make plastic fuck thermometers. You would uh, make for just such a case. What about a condom that's heat sensitive and it and it shows? Oh my god, how great would that be? A that's condom not, like a mood condom that has. Yeah. Well, my friend, I, I don't. You are sitting on a billion dollar idea. You I, are. I would stop. Copyright, copyright, trademark, copyright. Matt Belknap, two thousand eight, right here. And actually, do not what, steal what that. Danielle and I would do is I would get that thermometer that you put in the ear, and when I would uh, fuck her, I would, I would put it, that in her ear, and I would hold it in her ear while I banged her. P.S. Daniel's brother, right there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he knows we've had sex. We have a baby. Uh, thermochromic condoms. Thermochromic. That's what that's called. Let's do it. He let's do it. Oh. You've got the science. I've got the something So what else. Let's make lots of money. 
me. I yeah. got the brain. I've got the condom idea. <laughs> you know the science. <laughs> All of a sudden, I've turned it into a Robert Preston musical. <laughs> <laughs> How many trombones are you talking about? Uh, three trombones. 76 trombones. Oh, come on. Led the big, big parade. parade. Yes, with how many? 110 coronets. Oh, yes. Close at hand. Too many coronets. Those coronets are a little close at hand, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Just step it back for a fucking second and let us have our trombone glory. The